so we can have a conversation ourselves and, and really interact. Um, so let's let's do this. Hey, Wayne the voiceover goalie here. My channel is all about bringing you awesome goalie content. So if you've liked, subscribed, or commented on one of my videos, you are totally awesome. Welcome to today's live stream if you're just joining us. I am super excited today. Today we're going to talk about something that came up recently. And um, it's a question from my buddy Chris who emailed me uh, just, a, just a couple days ago. And because of all the stuff that's happening in the world right now and because we don't have any hockey to play and there's no hockey to watch, there are um, a lot of great goalie deals out there when it comes to equipment and online shopping, right? And he emailed me and he's like, hey, Wayne, have you, do you have any experience with um, X, Y, or Z brand of equipment? I found a really great deal on them and I'm thinking about buying them. Uh, what do you think? And I, I wrote him back and I, I told him what I thought about what he should do. And it got me thinking that, you know, is it really, is now really a good time to buy equipment? Is it, um, is it the best time? And so I, I just wanted to have a conversation with you to, to do the pros and cons. Cause I know that a lot of us are in different, um, stages right now in our playing career and where we're at and kind of the things that we're doing. And so I just want to talk about it in case you're on the fence about thinking about pulling the trigger on uh, some equipment, either a custom set or anything on discount or clearance. Uh, so what he said to me was, what do you think of this equipment? Should I buy it? And uh, my thought immediately was, well, I don't, I didn't have any direct experience with what he was referring to, but I told him, I was like, look, that's, it's great. If you are working and you have the funds and the means available and you desperately need new gear, now is probably a, as good a time as any to make that plunge in, and invest in some equipment, right? Because there are lots of great deals out there to be had with with regards to equipment that's maybe a season or two or three old that are, that's still in the market. A lot of you know online manufacturers and stores and, and physical stores are trying to do mail order stuff to move old, old inventory that they don't that they aren't able to move because their stores are physically closed. And so I said to him, I was like, look, if you have the means and and you're in a position to do that, it's a good time to do that. But take a couple things into into consideration, right? One, we don't know the state of hockey right now. We don't know when it is that we are going to get back on the ice. We don't know um how long that's going to be before rinks open up again. A lot of us are speculating, you know, personally, I think that the earliest that we could possibly get back on the ice as minor league players, as rec players, um, minor hockey players, adult, adult beer leaguers would, my guess would be at the earliest September or October, right? When we think about how rinks are operating right now, the majority of them are closed. Um, because it's not cost effective to maintain ice when they know that they won't be able to use it for any number of months. And so if you're lucky enough to live up north with, with my Canadian friends and it's still cold and you still have outdoor outdoor surfaces, ODRs, uh, props to you because you're still getting out there. But if you're like me and you live kind of, you know, down in, in the United States, in Massachusetts, it's, it's, I don't know what, like 50 degrees. It's hard to say because I haven't been outside all that much recently. Um, but the, yeah, skating outside is, is not an option. And so, yeah, there could be great deals to be had, but uh, one, you're going to be sitting on brand new gear for a long time, which may give you an opportunity to break it in a little bit before you get out there and use it again. Uh, but two, you don't know kind of what the market is going to be like. And I'll be honest with you. I, for one, I, you know, I uh, am not currently working with any manufacturers um, or online retailers or, or hockey stores or anything like that. And it's not that I don't support that. I do support them. But when it comes down to my core values and why I make these videos, it's really because I support you. I support you as a goalie. I support you as an athlete. I support the game of hockey, the position of goaltending. And then, you know, all of that stuff afterwards comes in sometime, somewhere down lower in the pecking order, right? I try to do, try to produce content to, to help you out there. That's, that's my goal. That's my, that's my core mission in this channel. It's, it's about you. It's not about, it's not about me. It's not about getting all the latest gear and all that stuff, right? Although don't get me wrong, as goalies, we all love getting new gear. Um, but really it's about us. 
And one of the things that I've realized with this whole break from hockey is that um, it's reignited in me a passion for the game. And I know that when we all get back out there, whenever that might be in the future, it won't matter what gear we're wearing. It won't matter if it is gear from this year, last year, brand new custom sets, you know, gear from the 90s. What matters is that when we get back out there, we'll remember that feeling. We will remember why we play. It's And it's because we love the game. We love some component of the position. We love the camaraderie of a team. We love stopping pucks. Um, and regardless of what gear you have, and it, it doesn't, it doesn't matter, right? The gear doesn't matter. What matters is that you're out there again, and that you are participating in the activity that you love. And I, for one, am super excited to get back out there. So whether that be in some new gear that I happen to come upon between now and then, or if it happens to be in my old gear, just to get out there, you know, we, we, will all have that feeling of man. I miss putting on my gear. I miss stepping out on the ice. I miss that smell, right? The 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 coldness of getting on the rink. And so really the my videos that I want to make moving forward in the channel are really geared around that um around that brother and sisterhood, around that exclusive club that we are we as goalies only really know that it doesn't matter, you know, some gear might help us play better. But the reality is when we all get back out there, we'll all have so much rust on us that it won't matter what gear you're wearing uh, because there will be a learning curve again to get back out there and to um, and to get back on the ice. So with all that being said, if you are in a position to buy new gear and that's what you wanted to do, if you've, if you've always wanted to buy a custom set and you just got your stimulus check in the U.S. deposited into your bank account yesterday and you got some extra money to burn, go for it, man. Because you know what? We all need some kind of drive and motivation to keep us going in these rough times. And retail therapy is a legit thing, right? It will help you get through some of that. It will excite you to get back out on the ice. But you know what? If you are like me, and the majority of people in the world right now, and you're unsure about your finances, and you're having a difficult time, and, and the future is uncertain, you know what? Don't feel the pressure of having to take advantage of any deal you come across, right? Um, if you have a set of equipment, that's going to be great, because when you get back out on the ice, it won't matter what brand you're wearing, it won't matter how heavy your pads are, it won't matter how broken in or smelly they are, what will matter the most is that we're all back out on the ice. And I know that we are all going to have that shared experience of getting back out there and relaying and, and playing in the game and and having that just, I don't know, connection a connection again, right? We take it we took it for granted so much over and I know that I'm guilty of this, taking for granted the ability to play hockey, to get out there, whether that be, you know, in the road, on a sport court, in a on the ice, um, you know, we, I took it, I took it, I took for granted that feeling and I can't wait till we get back out there, till the rinks open up again and we all are flooding back out to the rink and we all remember what it's like to be on the ice. And I know it's difficult in these times, right? If you're on social media like I am, you're getting inundated with photos of, of equipment and um, about this time would be when all of the new gear lines would be coming out. And so people would be getting all of their brand new gear for the season. Um, and that, and that's tough to watch, right? So uh, if you're not in a position to acquire new gear, I'm right there with you. I made a conscious decision not to buy any new gear and not to do that right now, right? Because what's most important is um, it's not spending money on physical things. It's about spending time with family and loved ones. We don't know kind of what the state we're undergoing things that we've never thought would ever happen. And yeah, I miss hockey. And, and for me, hockey was a big part of my escapism, right? It helped me when I played goal, it helped me take a mini break from life. It helped me escape from any stress or worries I had. I was disconnected for one hour without my smart device, without the internet, without having to think of anything and being a little selfish to take to take some me time in. 
And if you're like me, you've been stuck in the house um, and you're not getting that same kind of me time that you used to. And so, you know, whatever form it takes, however hockey comes back, uh, I know that in the end we will just be super appreciative of it. So um, is it a good time to buy new gear? If you have the means and the ability to do so, it might be. But if you don't, then don't worry about it because I'm right there with you. I am not buying any new gear right now. And I'm trying to reconnect with the spirit of hockey and the spirit of goaltending. So hopefully that when we get back out on the ice, we'll have that awesome shared experience together. And I know that we will, um, I don't know, just much more, be much more appreciative and, and really enjoy the time we have being on the ice 